Do you have that one time that you look back on often that you remember as the greatest experience of your life? I've been on two internships abroad and they were honestly the best experiences of my entire life. If you've ever wanted to do an internship abroad or volunteer with a conservation organisation, then stick with me as I take you down memory lane on one of my first marine conservation internships in Greece in 2016. If you haven't met before, then hi, my name's Maddie and my channel is all about travel, oceans and sustainability. And today I'll be talking about my time volunteering with Archipelagos Institute of Marine Conservation and how you can apply to internships and volunteer abroad just like I did. If you're into all this, then please subscribe so you don't miss my other videos like this. Picture this, living abroad, right next to the sea, working towards protecting our oceans and having unforgettable adventures with strangers you've just met. Have you ever dreamed of making an impact to our planet while also having the best time of your life at the same time? I'm going to take you back to 2016 when I embarked on an adventure that literally reshaped my world. My very first marine conservation internship in Greece. But this isn't just me just reminiscing about my previous experiences. I'm going to show you how you can become part of something greater to embark on your own life changing journey. If you've ever thought about volunteering abroad or taking on an internship to benefit our planet, then stick with me. By the end of this video, I can guarantee you'll be one step closer to booking that ticket. So before we dive right in, let me give you some context on how I applied to this internship in the first place. I was doing my degree in film and media studies between 2014 and 2017 in Manchester, which I absolutely hated by the way. I feel like that's a really unpopular opinion about university. Let me know in the comments if you've been to university and you either loved it or hated it. I suppose I don't regret it because I got a good piece of paper after it, but let me know in the comments what you think. Anyway, during my second year of uni, I was 19 at the time, one of my modules was to complete a two week work experience placement. Now everyone was contacting places like the BBC, they wanted to be a runner or like two weeks in an office. And I was like, absolutely not. I want to go work with fish. Get me in the sea, get me abroad. I just happened to see a girl that I went to school with on Facebook who studied marine biology and she just got a placement at this marine conservation organisation called Archipelagos Institute of Marine Conservation. The organisation was based in Samos, a Greek island. So I was like working with marine biologists and leaving the country for a few weeks. Sign me up. <laughs> So fun fact about me, I wanted to be a marine biologist but I never thought that I would be clever enough to do the sciences at college or university and when the career people came into the schools before we went to college they kind of convinced me not to go down the marine biology route which I kind of regret but so here I am with a media degree and a marketing career and I'm still wanting to be with the fish at any opportunity I get. So I asked my tutors if I could extend the two week work experience period as it was at the end of the semester and the minimum time I could do this internship was four weeks and I got the all clear. So I visited the Archipelagos website and I started to apply. It was similar to applying to a job. I had to like fill in a form. I had to like send in my CV. I also had to do a video Skype interview with one of the people from the base. Do you remember Skype? Does anyone use Skype anymore? But anyway, I had to do an interview before I was officially accepted onto the internship, which I was. I was so excited and I was also in a little bit of shock because I wasn't expecting to be able to get onto a marine biology internship. But I was told by the organisation that some of the interns there had media backgrounds and that I would have been able to do photography and filmmaking and helping the scientists with media stuff as well. I also convinced my boyfriend Kyle to apply too, considering he also had a media background and he was kind of in between an apprenticeship and working at the same time. And luckily he got onto the internship as well. So we managed to go at the same time, which was great. So that's how I applied to the internship. And then in no time, me and Kyle were on a flight over to Samos. Now before I go into detail about the actual internship, let me tell you about Archipelagos and what they actually do. Archipelagos Institute of Marine Conservation is a non-profit, non-government organisation that's committed to researching and defending the biodiversity of the Greek seas and islands, as well as the entire eastern Mediterranean. Their main research base, located near a town called Pythagorio in Samos, is where we called home for four weeks. I believe they've now got an additional research base in this little village here. I don't want to pronounce it because I will probably get it wrong. <laughs> they also have a research and rehabilitation facility on Lipsy Island. The base we stayed at doubled as a research facility and also a dorm style accommodation facility, where there were kitchen and communal areas too. The organisation offers several fields of action, including marine conservation, marine mammal research, terrestrial conservation and laboratory research, as well as media education. There was like a section for media interns as well. 
As Cal and I came from a media and marketing background, we were part of the media team. We were tasked with photography and social media duties, as well as helping the other marine mammal and terrestrial teams document their research. Kyle was also the graphic designer, helping out with artwork and design across the website and digital projects. So now you're probably wondering, did we pay for this internship or was it all free? The answer is that we did pay for this internship and we also paid for the flights as well. I can't remember the exact amount, but I think it was between 500 to 600 pounds each to stay at the facility for four weeks. But this also include all of our food and the accommodation costs as well. We actually had our breakfast, lunch and dinner cooked for us by the director's mum, who also like lived on the site. So it was like really traditional Greek style food, which was really good. She also made like fresh feta sometimes. I think about that often, it, it was so good. And then of course there was the money for the flight which would have been another few hundred pounds and then there was spending money as well. But considering we were living abroad for like four weeks, it was actually pretty cheap. Most internships and volunteering opportunities you will have to pay for as it's usually non-government organisations or charities that are running these volunteering programmes. Free placements are out there though but they are very few and far between and you probably need to meet strict criteria to be able to get onto these ones. Some of the main activities that we took part in were trips out to sea on their research vessel and we were photo IDing the porpoise and the dolphin populations around the island of Samos. We also helped with the rescue and rehabilitation of green sea turtles. It took quite a few of us to try and wrangle together to save these turtles because some of them would wash up outside the research facility and a lot of them had buoyancy problems because they had eaten plastic, which is really sad. And obviously we couldn't rescue all of these turtles, some of them did die, but we were able to save a few when we sent them to the research facility over in Lipsy Island. Another project we helped with was joining the terrestrial team at night where they were trying to find the native Samos chameleon and monitoring their health and the population on the island. This was so cool and I've never actually seen a chameleon out in the wild before and they were so tiny. That was a really cool experience. Although we were conducting valuable scientific research with the other interns, the best part of the internship was when we were outside of work, when we were out at the weekends and we were exploring the island of Samos together. We'd made such a great group of friends that we would regularly go out to the town of Pythagorio. We actually hitchhiked on one time. There was four, five of us that were trying to get a ride down because it's a good 45 minute walk from the base to the town and it was at night. And this French guy pulled up with his tiny car and he just said, get in, you're not getting another ride tonight. Samos is one of those islands that's quite safe and it's very local. So people were feeling safe to hitchhike around there. We also took a day out to explore the Patami waterfalls at the weekend, where we met this elderly man that was running a small restaurant at the top of the mountain. And we also went gorge walking and on the hunt for waterfalls throughout the day. Kyle and I were on our internship in April and we didn't realise but the base actually closed for a week during the Easter period and all the staff had gone on holiday and we didn't realise that we couldn't actually stay at the facility so there was around 10 of us and we all decided to go road trip around Turkey for a week instead. We went to meet one of the Turkish marine biologists that were working with us on our internship and she had to go back to Turkey because something to do with her visa. So we actually met up with her in Antalya, but before then we explored so much. Our first stop was in Kusadati where we explored Ephesus, which is like the big ruins there. It was so pretty, so amazing. There was so much to see there. We also drove around Fethiye and Hisaranu where me and Kyle had actually holidayed before. So we were taking people to all of our favourite restaurants. And we also drove all the way to Antalya where we met that marine biologist. And she took us on some more boat trips where we were monitoring the dolphin populations, but we also managed to have some fun and jump in the water as well. Oh, and I also can't forget, we went to go see the salt mountains of Pamukkale, which I absolutely recommend if you ever go to Turkey to go visit these, because it was so stunning and it was such a great day, just exploring all the pools and like walking around the place. It was so unique, it was really good. So not only did I do all the work for my work experience module for university and volunteer with people from around the world at a place where we were protecting marine ecosystems and wildlife, we also got to travel and experience these beautiful places around Greece and Turkey, something that we may not have done if we weren't on this internship with these people. Now, have I convinced you to get yourself on an internship yet? Let me know in the comments. Whether you're a student at university or college, or you want to take a gap year before you go into work, or if you just quit your job and you just want to travel around a bit, then I a thousand percent recommend that you do some good for the planet and also your soul 
just go and find an internship that you'll absolutely love and that's aligned with your values. It's a great way to travel the world and also do your bit for the planet. The good news is that Archipelagos takes applications for new interns and conservationists year round and all you have to do is visit their website and apply just like I did. I'll link the website down below if you want to go check them out. Please note that this is mostly students that get onto these types of internships as they're doing it as part of a placement year at college or university. But if you have an interest in marine biology or want to explore science as a career, you can speak to the staff and see if there's a place for your skill set. You might have a marketing background like me, or you might have something like catering or anything like that. You can always apply something of your skill set to something to better the planet. I am a huge advocate for exploring science and conservation opportunities, even if you don't have a degree behind you. You don't need a degree to have a career in science, conservation or marine biology. I have no experience in marine biology, conservation or any sort of science. Because I am so passionate about the planet and our oceans, I have figured out a way to apply my current skills, my content creation and my marketing skill sets to still be able to benefit this industry instead. So see what your skill set is and see how you can benefit the planet. Don't let people tell you that you need a degree to do anything in life because I feel like I was forced into a degree kind of just by society saying that, oh, you're not going to get a job unless you have a degree. You don't need a degree to do everything. Yeah, fair enough if you wanted to be a doctor or like a solicitor, something like that. You'll need something like that behind you to actually get you to where you want to be. But in our case, if we just wanted to do something for the planet or if you want to do some conservation work, you don't need a degree. If you're interested in other volunteering and internship opportunities, please comment below and let me know what you're interested in doing and where, and I'll make another video on it. I'll also be sharing another video soon on my experience in Australia on my second internship. So hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload that video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has inspired you and it's opened your eyes towards internship opportunities. I can't wait to see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.